Introduction of Tang Wei Jin, Chairman of the Global Community of Shared Future Foundation, Part 2. Tang Wei Jin, born in 1958 in Qidong County, Hungyang City, Hunan Province, graduated from Central South University of Forestry and Technology and worked as a teacher there for eight years. In 1990, he immigrated to Ontario, Canada, and pursued graduate studies in the Department of Biology at the University of Waterloo. In 2008, Tang Weijun's career thrived as he participated in various charitable activities, including a donation of 100,000 yuan to help with the rare snow disaster in Hunan, and a rally in Ottawa with nearly 10,000 participants opposing Western media's distorted reports and Tibetan independence while supporting the Beijing Olympics which prompted visits from Canadian security and intelligence agencies. He also raised hundreds of thousands of Canadian dollars for disaster relief following the Wenchuan earthquake. Owing to his strong activity capabilities, significant influence, and notable achievements, Tang Weijun was appointed by the United Front Work Department as a director of the Third Council of the Chinese Overseas Friendship Association, receiving an appointment letter from Du Qinglin the minister of the United Front Work Department, and was warmly received by Jia Qinglin, the chairman of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. To this day, Tang Weijun is recognized on the websites of the United Front Work Department and the Foreign Ministry. In 2009, Tang Weijun organized the North American Chinese Wealth Summit and the Canadian Chinese Spring Festival Gala at the Toronto Conference Centre, investing 500 Canadian dollars per person while achieving great success, which generated significant media attention and subsequently estimated financing of over $30 million within a month. Even more eye-catching was Tang's live demonstration of his trading abilities and skills for investors and the media, which sent ripples through Wall Street and attracted the interest and favor of the Chinese National Sovereign Fund, also leading to close scrutiny from the Ontario Securities Commission. The Ontario Securities Commission began investigating him under unfounded charges and brazenly employed force, police and prison, to slander and entrap the unarmed Chinese financial entrepreneur. Tang Weijun was illegally and forcibly persecuted and imprisoned by the judicial authorities without a trial defense lawyer independent expert witnesses, or accountant evidence from the defense. From 2009 to 2019, because people was from China, a foreign country where the legal system was generally misunderstood and feared, he had to fight alone for justice, enduring a decade of hardship while gathering extensive evidence and documentation of judicial persecution. Tang Weijun engaged in confrontations with over a hundred prominent Toronto lawyers and dozens of justices, also accumulating rich practical experience interacting with U.S. intelligence agencies, the FBI, Canadian intelligence agency CISIS. During the judicial struggle, Tang Weijun carried out political activities in Canada, participated in election work, participated in two Toronto mayoral elections, 2010-2023, awaken the people, and gained rich election experience. After being completely free in 2019, he returned to the embrace of his motherland, financed rural enterprises, revitalized the rural economy, and engaged in public welfare activities. In February 2020, he returned to Toronto, Canada because of the new coronavirus epidemic. The campaign for the Toronto mayoral by-election in 2023 attracted extensive coverage from hundreds of Chinese and foreign media. After the election, he was appointed by the global headquarters of the Community of Shared Future for Mankind. In September 2023, as the executive chairman of the Global Chinese and Overseas Chinese American Headquarters, chairman of the Canadian Headquarters, and director and reporter of the Canadian Editorial Department of China Review Network, Tang Weijin is not only a financial entrepreneur, known as the Chinese Buffet, but also a famous social activist and philanthropist.
He always puts the interests and well-being of the people first. He is a person who serves the people wholeheartedly and applies Mao Zedong thought in a living way.